Hey family, it's Mikey Smiles, and I want to talk to you tonight about a very serious topic, and that is rape. And for those of you who do not know, I'm a rape crisis advocate at a New York City hospital. And I'm going to go through the steps that are administered to you as a survivor of rape. Okay, I know there's a lot of things that are going through your mind. But I want you to know that whatever is said is going to be done in utmost confidence. <clears throat> Your confidentiality is very important at this moment. Uh, however, there are three exclusions that I must be a mandatory reporter. And that is if there is suicidal ideations, if you want to kill yourself. If there's homicidal ideations, if you want to kill someone else. Or if there's a minor involved. Otherwise, whatever you say is held in utmost uh, confidentiality. Okay, um, rape is a unlawful sexual act that's done by an assailant without consent from another person. Okay, um, in New York State, it's not called rape if there's a man on man. There's another terminology. So today, I'm gonna uh, cover the general practices that are that are done, and not so much of the terms for the legal terms because it might differ from state to state. Okay. First, upon arriving, um, a sexual assault advocate will be there to assist you throughout the entire emergency room uh, visit, throughout the, um, the initial screening, the medical screening, um, the, the legal screening, as well as post-care screen, uh, screening and uh, follow-up. Now, all of these um, options are offered to you, and if there's one that you are not um, willing to partake in, that is def definitely fine. Whatever you want to do, it's definitely centered around you. Okay, so I'm going to start off with, um, with the medical aspects, okay? I know a lot of persons who are going through... Um, you know, a crisis, they think about HIV is the, usually the big first, you know, the biggie. Um, okay, in New York State, within 72 hours of exposure, you are going to be given something called an HIV PEP, post-exposure prophylaxis. And what that is, is a combination of medications to stop the duplication of the HIV virus. As well as you will be given, um, vaccinations to stop STIs and to treat STIs as well as hepatitis uh, vaccinations. Um, but also, before you start consuming this medication, you are going to be offered uh, a nausea medication uh, to prevent it, and that's called Regulin. Okay. Um, there is someone that's going to be assigned to you. It's going to be called uh, a SART, which is a sexual assault uh, nurse. Or the medical doctor is also trained to do this type of examination. And what's going to happen is there's going to be um, a part of the examination called an evidence kit collection. And what that is, is that it's we want to cultivate um, DNA from your body uh, to uh, have on file just in case you would like to make a, a report. And um. What happens is that uh, strands of your hair are taken, a swab of your mouth is taken, uh, photographs are taken, um, filings underneath your nail is taken, uh, samples of um, your genital areas are taken, just in case there's semen, as well as your um, anal area. Um, next, you have the option, if there was a substance involved, such as a drug that you, you felt you were drugged, there is a kit called um, a drug, a DF, um, drug facilitated kit, okay? And what that is, is up to, uh, I believe, 96 hours that samples of your urine and your blood will be taken, um, and that will test to see if there was a uh, drug involved. Um... The next is going to be uh, the, the legal part. The police, 
you know, sometimes they could be, you know, very proactive and actually might, um, might interrogate you to a degree where you feel, you know, un uncomfortable or victimized. Um, so the advocate is there on your, your behalf to, you know, intercede and to, um, be your, be your confidence just in case you feel that they are, you know, asking too many questions and kind of like putting blame on you, the, um, the advocate could step in at any time upon your request to alleviate that tension. Um, our main concern is your, your well-being, okay? And we are also, uh, the persons who will, um, coordinate post-treatment, which will be, uh, making sure that you receive your, your meds, um, up to a month's supply, um, for HIV, P, uh, post-exposure, um, prophylactic medication, as well as to tell you also about, um, the plan B for um, emergency contraception. That's also something that's offered to you. Um, okay. Now, the reason why I decided to do this blog is because I was in the gym today and I heard uh, uh, Rihanna's Man Down. And it's a song about uh, rape. And it's a, such a, a taboo topic. You know, a lot of people don't understand how many sexual assaults there are per year. Um... And a lot of those sexual assaults happen to uh, you know, women and men who usually are either victimized um, because of intoxication, um, where they were uh, drugged, or where they were so intoxicated that the assailant you know, took uh, full advantage. <sighs> um, so I'm going to reveal to you... Um, to occurrences which which happened um a friend of mine who's a male he got really wasted and he he believed that he was sexually assaulted um he waited a lot of days afterwards because he felt a lot of shame and a lot of guilt and it was someone who he knew however if you're not conscious or aware of what's going on it's still considered rape simple. If you're not conscious of, of knowing what's happening and someone is forcing themselves upon you, it's rape. Um, and there are a lot of feelings and a lot of, a lot of guilt that one might feel, oh, it's their fault because they were so intoxicated, they weren't at that place at that hour, they didn't have so much to drink, etc., etc., etc. Whatever you are minimizing within and blaming yourself it's not the point the point is that someone did something to you and without your consent so stop blaming yourself for these things um, I'm here for you guys if there's any questions or if you want further detail as far as um, the processes that are involved in an emergency room visit um, for sexual assault please feel free to contact me and whatever we say will be um, conducted in utmost conf um, confidentiality, okay? Alrighty, um, be blessed. And I know it's a lot of information that I spit out to you, and I'm going to write as much as I can um, on screen so you guys could actually take away that information with you. But don't ever feel alone, because, or don't ever blame yourself, okay? Alright, mucho um, love.